In this lesson, we are going to be exploring the Pythagorean relationship. Now, uh, what you learned in this section was that there's a relationship. If you have a right triangle, and a right triangle has a 90 degree angle, there's a relationship between the areas on the two shorter sides. So the area of this square is a times a, which is actually a squared. The area of this square is b times b, which is b squared. This is related to the lesson that we did previously on squares and square roots. And the area of this biggest square on what we call the hypotenuse is c times c, which is c squared. And the relationship that we learned um, in this particular section, it's called the Pythagorean relationship, is if you take the two smaller areas, if it's a right triangle, and you add them, so the a squared plus the b squared, it will equal to the larger area if it's a right triangle. So that's the relationship that we explored. Uh, we're going to be looking at some numbers and some numeracy related to this. Again, what you might want to do is pause this video to write some of the stuff down uh, and then come back to it in a little bit. So this first question, what they are asking is if the triangles below are right triangles. So we don't know if this triangle or if this angle here is 90 degrees because it doesn't have the little square here. But we can use some concepts from the Pythagorean relationship to see if it is a right triangle. So <clears throat> these two green highlighted numbers here are areas because it says centimeters squared. So if those two areas add up to this larger pink highlighted area, then it is a right triangle. So what you're asking yourself is, is 25 plus 39 equal to 64? If it is, then this is a right triangle. And 25 plus 39 indeed is 64. So yes, it is a right triangle. In this next question, these two side lengths are 3 and 4 centimeters, and this side length is 7 centimeters. So is this a right triangle? Initially, you might think that it is, because 3 plus 4 is 7. But the Pythagorean relationship talks about the, the areas of the squares on the sides of the particular triangle itself. So we're going to have to actually draw, or at least do the numbers, for the areas here. So this area here is actually 3 times 3, which is 9 centimeters squared. This area is 4 times 4, which is 16 centimeters squared. And this large area, and again, even if you look at the numbers realistically, it's impossible to have a triangle with side lengths of 3, 4, and 7. Um, <clears throat> so this definitely isn't going to be a right triangle. But let's do the numeracy. The area here is going to be 49 centimeters squared. So if this was a right triangle, the two small areas, the 9 and the 16, would add up to the large area, the 49. Okay? And we already know, but I'll just show the work for it, is 16 plus 9 equivalent to 49? And the answer to that is absolutely not. So the answer here is no, it's not a right triangle. Uh, in this last example, we're going to do a similar thing here. You might notice that these are side lengths, or so side lengths of 5, 12, and 13. Does that make a right triangle? So we're just going to investigate that with the areas that are on each side. Okay, and forgive my squares that aren't quite squares. Uh, but the area here is 5 times 5, which is 25 centimeters squared. The area of this square is 12 times 12, which is 144 centimeters squared. And the area here is 13 times 13, which is 169 centimeters squared. Again, you might want to pause this video uh, to catch up on some of the mathematical work. Um, and also make some predictions on your own as we move into the next question. But the big idea here is, do the two small areas, the 25 plus the 144, do they add up to the big area, 169? And in this scenario, they do. So if the two small areas add up to the big, large area on the hypotenuse, it is a right triangle. So getting into the last question here, <coughs> we're going to use the same concept, but just in a different and unique way. So what this question says is determine the area of the unknown square. So it's still related to the same Pythagorean relationship. One thing you'll notice here is that we know that these are right triangles. So since they are, this is a right triangle, we know that the two smaller areas, these are areas. We know that because it has a squared on the unit, so it's centimeters squared and centimeters squared. 
we know that these areas have to add up to the large area. So in this particular case, that large area is just going to be 20 plus 35. And that's going to equal the large area, which is 55. Whoops. 55 centimeters squared. Okay? And that's the answer to that big area. Now, you might want to look at the next question and see how you think this is different. And if you're looking at this carefully, you'll notice that the difference here is that we are solving for one of the smaller squares or one of the smaller uh, areas here. So in this particular case, the large area on the hypotenuse is 100 meters squared, and the smaller areas are 40 meters squared on what we're solving for. So in this particular case, to find a smaller area, we are going to be subtracting from the large area. So 100 minus 40, and that smaller area is going to be 60 meters squared.